Hi, I'm John Allen with NICE High Security and today we're going to connect an EMX NAR50-325 reflective photo eye to a NICE 1050 board using the UL input. This is a new photo eye that we're shipping with the new Titan kits. It works with any uh, NICE product with a 1050 board and we have these instruction sheets that are available online. It comes with the Titan kits or you can download it online and this tells you exactly how to do the installation. This is what we're going to be following right now. This is my test rig. It's a nice linear actuator with a 1050 board. It's a short version. I sawed it off so that I could get it on my desktop. It's connected to a 1050 board and I have this EMX NIR50 test rig here. I've got the transmitter set up here. It's in its little bracket and mounting bracket and stuff and there's the reflector over there and it's just my little bench top rig for my reflective photo eye and here's the wiring harness that goes with it and we're going to be connecting this to that it's really easy so the first thing to do is to hook up the wires and the way this uh, wire harness works is I've got two wires for power and I've got two wires for signal. So these are the power wires, these are the signal wires, and I've got the black wire which we're not going to use in this. And I'm going to connect this to, um, the signal wires are going to go here to this connector, so let me pull that off of there. And we're going to get the power from here, I'm going to pull that off of there. So we're going to start by wiring, the po wiring up the power. The blue wire goes to pin 10 and the brown wire goes to pin 11. The pin numbers are actually right here on the connector, so we got 10 and 11, blue to 10, power brown to 11, so let's just hook those up real quick. So blue to 10, tighten that down, and brown to 11. go. Give those guys a little tug. Those are in there good. So now we're going to hook up the signal wires. The signals are gray and white. The gray goes to 28. The white goes to 29. So I got 28 and 29 right there. I'm going to hook those up. Gray to 28. White to 29. Give those a little tug. All right, that's good. So we've got the black one left over. It's a no connect. So let's plug these guys in. Those go there. And those go there. Okay. Now that we have all the wires plugged in and ready to go, it's time to program the board. So I'm just going to run this off of battery power. I'm going to plug in the battery, let the board boot up. And the first thing it does when it boots up is it scans for a blue bus photo eye, but I'm using this UL input, which is not a blue bus device, so I'm just going to escape out of that. So I hit the display button to escape. OK. Now we're all set for gate stop. Now I'm going to go in and set the UL input to have the right kind of input. So to do that, I'm going to hit Functions, scroll down to Advanced, OK. Then I'm going to scroll down till I see UL. There it is. I'm going to hit OK. So right now it's set up for digital normally open. Since this is 10K monitored input, we want to set it up for analog. So change for digital to analog and hit OK. Then when we got our choices of um, close, so it controls it on the close direction. Open, so it controls it on the open direction or both. So both you would use for like a wraparound edge on a swing gate. If you had an entrapment problem in the open direction, you would use open. This is to protect the photo, the gate in the close direction, so we're going to set it to close. That's what we want and hit OK. 
and that's all we need to do. So I'm going to hit display and then escape to get back to this. Now we're ready to learn the limit. So we're going to go function learn. Okay. This is a pretend swing gate. So, okay. It's an average size pretend swing gate. So we hit okay. And we'll start the learn process. So now the motor goes through its motions to find the open and close limits where the switches are set on the motor. And you can see over here, the limits in this little thing are moving back and forth as it finds the limits. The little, little gearing in there, that's how that works. So it found the close limit switch, now it's looking for the open limit switch, and you can see that little um, wheel spinning and moving up and down the spline, and it's gonna hit the switch about right now. So if you ever wondered what's happening under the hood, that's what's happening. So, it's all set to go. So now what we want to do is just test our rig and test the photo eye setup we have. And so we're going to operate it. So let's open the gate. We're going to open our pretend gate. It cycles open. And if I block the beam, nothing happens because it's opening. And the photo eye is there to protect the gate in the closed direction. So now it hits the limit, it's going to a countdown. The countdown timer is set for 10 seconds and then it'll start to move again. And then once it starts moving, if I break the beam, it stops and reverses all the way to the open limit. And then the countdown timer starts again. It starts at 10 seconds. And well, that's a configurable thing too. Uh, it can be anything that you want. And then it starts to close again. And I can interrupt it again. It reverses to the full open position. Counts down and then it will fully close. Uh, this time I'll let it close. See my little rig there. And there we go. We're all set to go. We're protected, have all our entrapment devices set up, and we're good to go.